That's a real grated coconut milk that we're putting in our peas. We use the real thing. Good day. My name is Sharon Eastman Benjamin, originally from Charlottesville. My restaurant name is Sharon and Phoebes. I want to welcome you to my kitchen. One thing in this kitchen, we normally use one pot spoon for everything. So we have lots of pot spoons. So I'm putting some garlic. Let's put lentil peas. We're cooking lentils today. Lentils. Lentils. And as we see, pumpkin and then we put in the lentils. We just like, you know, the, we, we, the peas and things are kind of, the, the onions and the garlic are kind of roast. We give the peas a nice flavor. So this is dry lentil, but we normally soak it with some hot water. Yeah. Like 15 minutes. Yeah. Not long. When we finish picked it, we wash it out and we soak it. Let's cook faster. I don't like doing a long, 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 long journey in cookout. Then we doesn't pressure, we doesn't pressure the peas. So we just put the fresh seasoning. I could get some flavor pepper, please. You got flavor pepper cut in the fridge? And celery. This is flavor pepper. This is flavored peppers. Yeah, pimentos. I forget, I forget to where I see pimentos. Right, so, I could get some boiling water for this piece here. And we normally like to cook the peas with boiling water. It forming the thing. Well, it's malfunctioning, that is how it is. Right, so when we do put the salt and we, we put, I put in some salt now inside. According to your mom, to put a little two teaspoon, you must put a little sugar in your peas. It's a must. You, you know why you put sugar in your peas? It's a must because sugar and um, peas have a lot of, it's very acidic. So because of that, you put to, to balance the stomach. A little sugar. I put a little clove. I put a little clove in my piece. A little clove. Like a little taste, eh? from, from yeah, No, this is something that I find, you see, I kind of practice about different flavors with different food. If I go anywhere and eat anything from anybody, I know exactly what they put in it. So I know what is the balance for things. Like, like peas and callaloo. I put a little clove in it because, and in pork, stew pork, stew chicken, the clove give it a nice flavor and give it a nice taste, a nice texture to it. So that's why I like to put a little clove in with peas and not the whole, well, when I'm doing home, I use the whole grain clove. But when I'm doing it at the business, I do the grind clove. Because the clove is not a pleasant thing. And I tell you one secret about clove. Clove is very good for cancer cells. I learned that with an herbalist in New York. He told me about that. We have a big chain of restaurants. And he told me clove is very good to cook with. Clove is good, you know, for the cells, the cancer cells. 
So I love the taste of clove in things, but you can't overpour it because clove is very strong. You can't overpour it, but it's good to put a little clove in your peas. You give a, some people say, oh, they don't like clove, but it's good. It's a very good thing to put in your peas. And if you're doing a little pigeon pea soup, you put a little clove in a pigeon pea soup. I don't put clove in um, split peas soup because it dark meat. But clove is very good in shoes. You see, we brought nothing into this world and certainly we wouldn't take anything back. People tell me all the time, oh, Sean, you, 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 you doesn't tell people everything where there's cook. I said, it doesn't matter if you're born with a talent, you're born with a gift. No matter if I tell you, you might not come out the same like, you know, but clove is very nice. So, please, like when I do barbecue sauce, so, like chicken and pork and thing, I put a little clove in it. Not overpower, like with um, shadow bunny. I'm not a shadow bunny person, but I put shadow bunny in goat. I put shadow bunny in in pork. I put shadow bunny in wild meat. Any wild, any meat, meat in the wild. And it, you know, it bring it out. You understand? I put a little booze in, in them things. You know, a little strong rum or wine. You know, and thing. So. But I love cooking. I really love cooking. From my child, I always fantasize about cooking. And it's in, and, and it in my blood. So everybody always like the flavor, my flavor. The flavor nice, and I always try to, you know, keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I put, I, put it, I, put it, I put it salt, a little salt, I put it sugar. I put in a little all purpose. Because that is the only season I normally use. I don't use nothing with MSG because um, it, 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 it not, it's not healthy. When I read at the contents of this, I know you have no MSG, so you have celery and parsley and, and paprika and, you know, and a little, little bit of thumb or something. So I like it with that. Nothing. I don't put nothing. Nothing else. I don't put no, I don't put no additional dry seasoning. Unless if it's clove, put a little clove, and with a, I cook with a little ginger and garlic, with stews and baked and thing. That. This this peas cook like in half an hour time. Yeah, half an hour. Some peas some peas stay longer, but so long as you know you put it in hot water and thing. This tastes nice already. So I'm putting in the coconut. This is a real, this is real coconut milk. That's a real grated coconut milk that we're putting in our peas. We use the real thing. 